Hello there. Welcome to Just the Dis. My name is Brian. We talk about Blu-rays here. I'm just going to do a short unboxing video. I have um, some new stuff from Severn Films. Uh, I just talked about their July titles. Now I have some August titles. And this is going to be real brief because um, some of these I haven't seen. I, I haven't really dug into them yet. I just got them, but I just wanted to show what uh, Severn is doing because I'm still very excited about it. And I'll start with this which is another 4K UHD title from Severin. This is Paul Morrissey's Blood for Dracula. And um, I did get a chance to just pop this in real quick and have a look. And not surprisingly, uh, it, uh, it, it, does, it does well on UHD. It looks wonderful. And the detail is incredible. And, you know, I'm very pleased with Severin's UHD output so far. Everything I've seen from them has been, you know, really solid, and this is no exception. And so uh, this is your basic, uh, this is how it looks, this whole case and everything. It's it's very nice, it's very sturdy, and uh, I love actually that, like, little detail there. I think that's pretty cool. Um, but so then you, you get your, you get three discs in here, and so you get you get this opened up, and then... You get that and that, and this opens this way, and there's a little postcard with the uh, chapters there. And so then, okay, like I said, you got three discs, you've got your UHD, you've got your Blu-ray in the middle, and your CD on the far side there. So a beautiful package, like I said, well put together. I just... I won't ever really get over how much time and energy uh, the boutique labels like Severin put into their packaging, especially when compared to studio packaging. Sorry, this is actually a track listing for the soundtrack CD right there, which is very cool. Um, all right, so like I said, looks very good, and there are copious extras I can't even get into the the back as you can see says that um uh, immediately after completing flesh for frankenstein which obviously we know is coming in uhd from vinegar syndrome uh soon so we'll have a couple palm, palm morrissey films these were two of the earliest criterion dvds that i can remember were the paul morrissey uh blood for dracula flesh for frankenstein and i always um wanted to check them out i feel like maybe i started uh, Blood for Dracula once and it was like maybe too arty for me at the time but I'm in a different place now in terms of my cinema palette and I think I'm much more open to what this has to offer but um, it says writer director Paul Morsey and star Udo Kier created what remains a sumptuously depraved Euro shocker cunningly uh, political allegory and wickedly funny horror that obliterates the line between art and bad taste um, Desperate for a virgin for virgin blood, Count Dracula, uh, Udo Kier, in a performance Flavor Wire calls one of cinema's top five best Draculas. Journeys to an Italian villa only to discover the family's three young daughters are also coveted by the estate's Marxist stud, Joe D'Alessandro, um, and with an unforgettable cameo by Roman Polanski. I, I forgot about that if I knew about it. Uh, now scanned in 4K from the original negative for the first time ever. So, yeah, like I said, the detail, incredible. Looks really, really good. And uh, it says, you know, the, the second disc has the feature as well. Um, you know, that 4K scan, obviously on Blu-ray as opposed to 4K UHD. Uh, but plus nearly four hours of special features with cast, crew, and more. So there's so much there they can't even break it down. So I'm very curious to check all that out. And then the soundtrack CD, original post motion picture soundtrack orchestrated and conducted by Claudio Gizzi. Um, so all in all, really nice. And as you, maybe you can see, this is slightly raised. Um, so that's kind of cool, a cool effect for the cover. Very beautiful. So that's uh, Blood for Dracula 4K. Then we have uh, Retribution. Now, this one had been available through... I'm just going to show you the slip cover there. Um through Code Red. Code Red had put out a version of this which I bought and so I have seen this one. It's a very interesting possession film 
And uh, I don't want to talk too much more about it because it's definitely one that I think um, if I go too deep, it's just I'd rather people check this one out. It's 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 worth it, you know. Um, and this is a three disc uh, set includes the U.S. theatrical cut, the extended Dutch video version and a remastered soundtrack CD as well. Hats off to Severin for doing the CDs. So there you have your first disc and your second disc and your soundtrack CD on the inside. And um, this one, uh, it just says for his 1987 feature film debut, which I forgot, co-writer, director Guy Magar um, delivered what Bleeding Skull has uh, hails as a relentless, squishy joy that makes us angry we've lived this long without having seen it. Um and it's, oh yeah, on the seedy side of Hollywood, an emotionally fa fragile painter miraculously survives a horrific suicide attempt, but when a series of grisly murders rocks the city, he uh, soon discovers that, um, da -da -da, he may be possessed by the vengeful spirit of a murdered local hoodlum. So yeah, that's all you need to know, really. Um, but yeah, it's... um. It's got some gnarly moments to it, but overall, pretty interesting. And tons of features, as you can see here. Uh, audio commentary with the writer-director, writing wrongs, an interview with the co-writer, Lee Wasserman. Shock therapy, interview with actress Leslie Wing. Uh, Angel's Heart, interview with actress Suzanne Snyder, who I'm a big fan of from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And um, uh, Weird Science, of course. Um, and then Santa Maria, Mother of God, Help Me, interview with actor Mike Muscat, Settling the Score, interview with soundtrack composer Alan Howarth, uh, Visions of Vengeance, uh, interview with special effects artist Joe Eggett, The Art of Getting Even, interview with artist Barry Farr, Living in Oblivion, interview with production designer Rob Wilson King, and Bingo, the student's short. Uh, and I love when they include shorts. That's always something I really dig. And in this case... Uh, it's got optional commentary from the director as well. So that's super cool. And of course, the soundtrack CD, as aforementioned. And um, yeah, just another one that I'm excited to have a new version of. Uh, I, I was a fan. I had the old Blu-ray, but this looks to be uh, real special. Uh, so that is that one. Um, and... Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to digging into that. And then we have a trio of post-apocalyptic films here, uh, and I'll be briefer on these, but this is the big one that I think a lot of people have been wanting for a long time. That's Raiders of Atlantis, uh, Ruggiero Diodato's film from 1983. Um, I know uh, a favorite of Brad Henderson of Vinegar Syndrome. I'm sure... He tried to get this. Uh, I, you know, I would would have been great to see Vinegar Syndrome get this, but I'm happy that it is available. Um, and it is uh, pretty nuts. Um, let's see here. Uh, there's just a little bit of a taste of the kind of weirdness, the bikers and the Mad Maxi craziness that you get on the back there. And it says, 80s exploitation, Mitro Ruggiero Diodato, Cannibal Holocaust, fuses high concept sci-fi with a lowbrow gorehound horror for the utterly unhinged cine spectacle that must be seen to be believed. When a pair of Miami mercenaries, Christopher Connolly and Tony King, rescue a team of scientists investigating the lost city of Atlantis, they'll instead discover a post-apocalypse nightmare of punk rock marauders, exploding stuntmen, and synth disco carnage. Um... Ivan Razumov, George Hilton, and soon-to-be director Mike Michele Suave, co-star in this Italian fanatic's wet dream. Even the most narcotic-coded uh, mind couldn't begin to dream how amazing it is. Now scanned in 4K from the IP for the first time in America. So this is one that has a more than checkered past on home video. Uh, I'm sure there was some kind of a DVD release at some point. But honestly, in the States, I don't know much that I've seen that looks legit. Uh, so this is a, a definitely legit release of Raiders of Atlantis. And it uh, includes uh, Ruggiero and the Fate of Atlantis, an interview with uh, Ruggiero Diodato. Quest for Atlantis, interview with cinematographer uh, Roberto Dattori Pizzoli. 
and audio commentary of Vinegar Syndrome's Brad Henderson and Tony King. So Brad does get to be a part of this release, and I'm very excited about that and very much looking forward to hearing his comments. As I know, um, he's been a big proponent of this film for years, and I think I'd heard of it before I met him, but um, before I got to know him, but he's definitely the guy I think of when I think of this movie. So I'm very pleased that Severin... Uh, saw fit to include him in the commentary track. Very much looking forward, as I said, to hearing that. Then we have something called Warriors of the Year 2072 by Lucio Fulci. And, um, yeah, I mean, you don't have to say much more to me than uh, Lucio Fulci post-apocalyptic movie, and I'm kind of on board. And I thought I had this one. I thought maybe it was like New Barbarians or something, because a lot of these Italian films have multiple titles. Uh, but I don't think I've ever seen this. And this says the first ever authorized American Blu-ray release of the Riz Ortolani soundtrack CD. So this is another one that has a CD included. Um, and it uh, says Lucio Fulci entered the 80s Italian sci-fi arena armed with full throttle visuals, hard chrome nihilism, and mad blasts of the Il Maestro's signature grisly mayhem in a future dominated by the ultraviolet TV entertainment, the top-rated global sport uh, kill bike uh, drafts two condemned gladiators, Jared Martin of Dallas and Fred Williamson of the Inglorious and Inglorious Bastards. See, Fred Williamson being in this is why I thought it was another movie. Um, uh, and uh, Howard Ross and Donald O'Brien co-star in this wheelie poppin' good time from a script co-written by Fulci, Dardano Sacchetti, and uh, Alicia. Elisa uh, Briganti, who also wrote Zombie, uh, featuring a pounding synth score from two-time Oscar nominee Ritz Ortolani, now scanned in 4K from an IP print for the first time in America. And this one has also a ton of features. The Fulci tapes, a conversation between Fulci and Michele uh, Romangolnoli. Um, unloved, uh, sorry, Unloved, the interview with screenwriter Dadano Sacchetti, uh, the nicest villain interview with actor Howard Ross, good hearted gladiator interview with actor Al Cliver, my father, the hero interview with Antonielli Fulci, Antonella Fulci, uh, photography, photographing the future interview with cinematographer Giuseppe Pinori, four times Lucio interview with actress Sin Zen, Sinzia, uh, Mon Reale, and audio commentary with Mondo Digital's Nathaniel Thompson, Troy Holworth. Um, a real great duo and really great on Italian cinema. I know that'll be a good track. And then, of course, the soundtrack CD, which I'm going to take out and place in my car so that I can listen to it when I drive to work uh, tomorrow. I uh, can't wait to hear that. So that is Warriors of the Year 2072. And then we have, lastly, something called Endgame, which I was on the fence about getting because it's Joe D'Amato, and I'm a little iffy with Joe D'Amato's output. It's not always my kind of thing, uh, but this is another one that included a bon tri- uh, bonus soundtrack CD, and so I went with it because I, I do like some Italian post-apocalyptic movies, and um, this one, uh, as you can see at the bottom, scanned in 2K from the original negative, uh, and um, first ever authorized American Blu-ray release plus bon tri- bonus soundtrack CD. Uh, for his own entry in the 80s Italian post-nuke cycle, Joe D'Amato combines a prescient script, ferocious action, unprecedented cast of Italo cult icons to create one of the better spaghetti sci-fi films of the decade and in radiation-ravaged future, an underground society of mutant rebels will attempt to overthrow the tyrannical government by infiltrating the TV sport in which the humans are hunted as prey. So some similarities between this and Raiders of uh, or Warriors of the Year 2072. Um, and let's see here. Al Cliver, Laura, Laura Gemser, George Eastman, Gabrielle Tinty, Bobby Rhodes, and Peplum legend Gordon Mitchell uh, star in this tons of fun for lovers of Italian exploitation uh, featuring a pounding score by Carlo Maria Cordio, uh, who also did the score to Shocking Dark, now scanned in 2K from the original uh, negative. And this has less features, just has the After the Bomb interview with actor Luigi Montefiore and George Eastman in a trailer and of course that soundtrack CD which I'm also going to take out and place in my car um, but anyway so that is it for this uh, group of 
discs from the fine folks at Severin Films. And uh, a lot of good stuff to dig in here. Post-apocalyptic stuff, 4K UHD Dracula, and possession stuff. Uh, so a very enjoyable group. And I just wanted to um, just open it up and show you guys what it was. And uh, if you're thinking about getting this set, uh, it does look to be a lot of fun with a lot of different uh, stuff happening in terms of this package itself. But anyway, that's it uh, for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.